What are some of your favorite meals that you make in the kitchen? And also along that topic, I would also love for you to answer, let's pretend you were back being in a, an investment banker and you had the same schedule. Like how would you navigate food now with the skills that you have? Oh boy, what a great question. And actually they work beautifully together because I'm gonna tell you first my favorite meals to make in the kitchen. I'm, I, um, I do like following recipes if I find something new, like I recently found a beautiful vegan okra gumbo, man, delicious. And it had like a million, a million um, ingredients, but I loved it. But uh, most of what I do is I just throw the no recipe meals together. So I'll tell you about those. My three favorite things to make in the kitchen are a salsa fresca, which is just a pico de gallo, homemade fresh, I love it. Tomatoes, onions, um, serrano or jalapeno chili, cilantro, some lemon or lime, maybe a little dash salt pepper. Love that. And that goes with everything. And that was actually the first thing that I learned to make myself that made me think, you know what, Andrea, maybe you can actually make something that people <laughs> like. <laughs> I was shocked. I, I Once I learned that, I was like a salsa queen. I made it all the time because I wanted everybody to have this beautiful salsa. That's one of them. The next is a super easy uh, and quick uh, uh, red or yellow lentil uh, soup. And it's a three, three ingredient soup. All it is is garlic, tomatoes, and yellow or red lentils. And then you wow. can put cumin in That's there. That's simple. You can, yeah, it's so easy. And it takes about 25 minutes and it's absolutely delicious. And then the third is just, you know, the throw it together burrito, which everybody can make anytime as long as you have you know, no sodium or low sodium canned beans, some brown rice on hand, um, a salsa fresca, which I just told you about, yep. and um, some greens. Just like and that. Those are the three. And the reason I was mentioning those is now, if I were to go back to my investment banking days, what I would do is I would make those three things and probably potatoes and maybe a couple other dishes, but I would make those every weekend. I'd make huge batches and I would take those with me to work for lunch okay. and dinner. And, and so how long will these, let's say the salsa or um, the soup, how, would either one of those stay good in a freezer? Oh yeah. Uh, well, no, the salsa would not. The soup would. Yeah. The soup would be fine. The soup would. The salsa, no. The salsa really needs to be eaten fresh, and it'll mm -hmm. last about. It can last up to about four days. It's probably good, really good for about three days. Right. Perfect. And I think that's that's the key thing. I, I think like people just need to get over the hurdle. Like you have to do it once, and all of a sudden you realize, okay, wait a minute. If I do invest some time on the weekend, or the time that I do have off, and I make a bunch of meals that can be frozen. And I simply just bring my frozen, just a glass container with your frozen soup in it, bring it to the office. How easy that is to heat up and have a really, really healthy meal that took you very little time to prepare in the moment. Like, yes, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. And it's delicious. That's the other thing is that it's not only easy, it's not only nutritious, it's just delicious. Yeah, I love it. It's I love so it. Good. Oh, now, and before, I, I just want to go back to dishes. One quick thing yeah, to help people please. who are still like, oh, you know, but the dishes, the dishes are such a problem. When you start making green light meals, what you're going to find is the dishes are a breeze because many of them you can just rinse with water because mm -hmm. you're not using oil anymore. And you don't, you're not using um, raw animal products, so you don't have to worry about really cleaning or any, using any kind of a disinfectant. It, it, the dishes are a breeze. 